This is a story new at 11. The monkeys that got loose in Currituck County last month are back with their owner, sort of. Last week, we told you four pet capuchin monkeys escaped from a Moyoc home and attacked a man. That man showed us his injuries, but he's recovering. Animal Control captured the monkeys and today returned them to their owner. Only 10 on your side's Lauren Compton talked to her tonight. So, Lauren, what did she tell you about all this? Nicole Nikki Shiflett got her monkeys back this weekend. She's placed them in a primate sanctuary until she decides what to do next. She says what happened was an accident and her monkeys are not dangerous. It's quiet in Nikki Shiflett's backyard. Long gone are the noises from the pets she loved. Every time you step out the door, they'd greet you with their sounds and I miss them really bad. The moment you step on a Shiflet's porch, it's clear she adores these animals. My first baby I got was Boo, and I seen his picture and just fell in love. Before long, she bought three more, Lola, Missy, and Jimmy. They quickly became a part of her family. Boo's my little King Kong. He's the little bully, you know. Missy's my little sweetheart. All she wants to do is hug and kiss and love on you. Jimmy, he was my clown. He was always doing little goofy things to make you laugh. They were so gentle, Shiflet let the monkeys play with her small grandkids. She says they were never violent or dangerous, but that changed Halloween night when the monkeys got out of their cage. One of them bit Rick Story, who was trying to lure them back. Its behavior, Shiflet says she never saw in the monkeys and believes they may have felt cornered. If one of them was threatened or in danger, then, you know, the other ones are going to come to their rescue. In an effort to catch them, the monkeys were shot with tranquilizers. Lola was hit, but Jimmy, everyone's favorite, died. It was extremely sad for everybody involved. The, you know, the gentleman who tranked him obviously, you know, didn't mean any harm, and I know he felt tremendously bad. Shiflet's three remaining monkeys are now living in a sanctuary on the eastern shore. She can't see or hear them every day, but she is grateful. For a situation like this, I had the most amazing ending you can ever hope for because the other three are safe, they're in good condition, they're still mine. Shiflet's family is paying for Story's medical bills and vaccines. Right now, Shiflet is not sure when she will bring the monkeys back home, and no charges have been filed against the Shiflets for the attack. In the newsroom, Lauren Compton, 10 on your side.